Hey guys, so I'm here with another video and I'm doing a what's in my bag. I'm a little annoyed because I already did this and the whole time I realized it wasn't recording. So I'm just going to go through everything that's in my bag. I just got home a little while ago. Um, so there's a lot of crap in here because I was eating on the train. I was drinking stuff on the train. I have a lot of random crap in here. So I'm just going to go one by one, pick everything out. Um, so yeah, first I'll show you my bag. This is the bag that I'm carrying as of right now. Um, it's from my job. It's from Sea Wonder. It's called our signature PVC tote. Um, it's the tote, like it's like the big Neverfull, like a Louis Vuitton Neverfull. It's kind of that same silhouette. Um, this is my favorite silhouette of a bag. I've had Michael Kors ones like this. I've had so many bags that are like this shape just because it holds everything. Like I'll bring food to work. I'll bring extra shoes to work. I'll bring socks to work. I'll bring extra underwear to work. I'll bring everything with me. So first thing I have is a bottle of water that is still cold because it was so cold outside today with the wind and oh it was terrible like my nose just finished defrosting it was like bright red um so i have water in here because i was eating which brings me to my next thing these look and seem disgusting they are so delicious they are snyder's of hanover honey mustard and onion pretzel pieces they smell like funky foot and like dirty they just smell disgusting but they are so 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 good this is what they look like they're delicious like everyone that hears of them they're like what the hell they're amazing they have them also in like a bacon cheddar and one other flavor but i don't remember what they were these are the ones that i just always go for so I have those in there i was eating those on the train um then i have my ipad um this is just the ipad mini it's i think the 16 gig um i was facetiming my sister when i left the house um I don't ever carry my iPad with me. Sometimes I do, depending on where I'm going, but I'm not one of those people that just brings my iPad everywhere I go, and it's always in its case that I don't even know where it is right now. Um, but yeah, that's just my iPad. Then I have my makeup bag. This is a Victoria's Secret makeup bag. I got it last Christmas. It was one of my stocking stuffers, um, and I've just been using it. I need to get a bigger one because I carry so much crap with me. But first, I have some Band-Aids. I always carry Band-Aids just in case I'm wearing shoes, especially heels. Um, so that the, the back of my feet don't rub and I notice when I need a band-aid is when they don't have them So I have like literally all different sizes. I have different shapes I have the circle ones the long ones the thick ones. So those are in there. I always have Different perfumes with me. Let's find where all of them are. So I have three different ones. I have the Flora Botanica by Balenciaga um, What is this called like a tester? I always go to Sephora. This is one of my favorite perfumes ever. I'm a perfume hoarder. I love like a million different scents. I don't have one signature scent because I like everything. Like I love having 30 perfumes at a time. You will never have see me just have one perfume. Like everybody knows me and my best friend will get ready to go out and she's like, let me look through your perfum perfumes. And you can literally just like select out of tons of them. So I have Flora Botanica by Balenciaga in here. Put this here. Then I have Bulgari's Jasmine Noir. This smells so, so, so good. One of the managers at work gave me this. It smells amazing, I'm almost out of it. And then I was at TJ Maxx and I found this little bottle of Curve Crush. Curve Crush gives me like nostalgia. It brings me back to when I was younger and it just smells so good and like com it makes me feel comforted. So I have those three. Then I have these Sephora Natural, Lav Natural Lavender Blotting Papers. I've had these forever and I have like a million papers left. Um, just if my face gets oily and I wanna like blot my nose. I have those and then I have gum. I always, 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 always have gum or mints. Most of the time it's gum um, and it's usually always Orbit. I'm not picky with the flavor. I usually like the, what is this one? Spearmint? Spearmint, winter green, the fresh mint or the clean mint, sweet mint. That one, but right now I have this one. Then I have a antibacterial hand sanitizer from my mall. The Westchester was passing these out and it's just like a spray type hand sanitizer and I always have it with me because they gave it out when Ebola was going around. So, um, like I used this today when I got off the train just because it's gross under there. Then, my phone is going off. Let me turn that off. Then I have this little pouch um, from David Yearman. It's where my earrings go in and I think I had gotten my earrings cleaned and I just left the pouch in there in case I want to get them cleaned again. But it's these earrings are the only earrings that I ever wear. Um, they're two-tone, they're silver and gold. Got a little pouch in there. Then I have, I don't know why I have this in my makeup bag because I'm never gonna go for body wash in a makeup bag. But one of the girls from work gave me this. It's the new Dove Sensitive Skin Body Wash, Nutrium 
moisture. It's this little one. I don't know if it's focused, if you can see it. Whatever, who cares? Yeah, why this is in my makeup bag, I don't know. Then I have this NYX or NYX Butter Lipstick in the color Pop. This is my favorite for like a pretty mauve neutral color. Just swatch it real quick. That's what it looks like. Hopefully you can see it. My light isn't too white. So I have that one. I'm almost out of it. I need to get another one. And then I have this Wet n Wild one that I just got at Walgreens. Um, it's called Mocha Licious. It's like the most perfect brown that like everyone's obsessed with right now. Hopefully you can see it. It's a brown. And one other one I know I have in here. I have Blankety, which is nude. You don't really need to see that, but I'll show it anyway. Can't really see it. Um, whatever lipstick I'm wearing for the day, I'll throw like a lipstick and the lip liner in there with it, sometimes gloss. Then I have some of my favorite lip liners. This is Whirl that I always pair with what do I pair this with? With Wet n Wild Bear It All. This is like my favorite neutral color. Since I'm dark, it's this down here. I don't know if you can see that. This is Whirl. Then I have, this is my Holy Grail lip liner. I wear this with almost every color. Like you can wear this with anything, with nude, with pink, with like burgundies. Um, this is, it's like almost out and then that's the color, hopefully you can see it, but I wear it a lot with um, the Pops color. I think this is Pops. So this is Pops, and this is the, no, I'm lying. This is Pops, this is Soar. So it's just like a really pretty, um, like this is like my Kylie Jenner lip. Um, it has like a brick undertone, so I wear that with, sometimes by itself. And I have what I'm wearing right now, where is it? This is Sephora's, um, I don't remember what it's called. It's 04 oh, something plumbers, endless plumber, endless purple, one of those two. But it goes on like a lip gloss like this and then it dries as a matte color. This is it right here. It's like a pretty plumish, I don't know. It's just perfect. And it was always sold out when I went to get it and then I finally found it. Then I have this Brilliant Shine Lip Gloss by Milani. This is in the color Bare Secret 01. It's just a really pretty, like it has like a topish gray undertone. This is what it looks like. And it has a really nice shine and it doesn't like get all nasty and white under there. Then I have my Minted Rose Lip Balm. I use this to death. It's like getting down there, but this is what I use as a really nice shine. I'll use this sometimes by itself. Put everything in my makeup bag. Then, what else do I have in here? I have a clip, because I sometimes cannot stand this whole thing, so I'll just clip my hair back. I have like a million of these. I got these at H&M. Um, I just throw my hair back into them sometimes. I was eating on the train, like I said, so I have a Twix wrapper. A long ass receipt from Stop and Shop, because I just went grocery shopping, and I spent way too much. Then I have my wallet. This is a Salvatore, Fer Salvatore Ferragamo Continental like clutch wallet. It opens like this. And then inside I just have typical wallet stuff. I have my credit card, um, my license. I have a Chick-fil-A free iced coffee or hot coffee. I miss Chick-fil-A so much. Like my beauty card from Sephora, Ulta, um, a DSW card, my insurance card. And I have my birth certificate and my social security card, which I definitely should take out. I have some cash that I just found in my wallet. I didn't even know I had it in there. There's that. And I have a whole bunch of other crap that I need to throw away. Then I have two pictures of my perfect godson. This is him. He's perfect. And my best friend gave me these and I just left them in my wallet. I never take them out. And I'm always showing everyone because I'm obsessed with him. Then I have, I'm in love with these candies, these Werther's um, original hard candies. They taste like, I think they're just caramel. Um, they are so damn good. I always have them at work and they're always in my pocket. I have them in my junk drawer over at home. I always have candy and stuff in there. Right, right now I have Twix, Lindor truffles, I think gummy worms and these, and they're just my favorite. One of the girls at work knows I love them, so she bought me this little mini pack. Um, these are just sugar free. 
but whatever, they're still good, I don't care. Then I have my work keys, these are my store keys. Um, I have to have them on me at all times so I don't take them out of my bag. This is my Sea Wonder little logo keychain, and then I have a Walgreens balance rewards. I have a Sophie and Trey um, like rewards card, this is a store in Orlando. Um, then I have my Alex Anani Eye of Horus keychain. Um, one of the girls in the Orlando Sea Wonder got it for me, and I love it. Um, I have the Eye of Horus everywhere. I have a bracelet, I have a tattoo. It's all over the place. Um, and then I have a little keychain from my sister's baby shower of my nephew. That's there. Then I have my car keys, not that exciting. I have some stuff that my mom sent me in the mail from Orlando. Um, unpaid toll violations. But they're all stupid. They're like $7. Four dollars, seventy cents. Like they're just dumb. So I just have. I don't know why they're in my bag. Then I have my favorite lotion of all time. I don't care what anyone says. This is by far the best smelling lotion, most moisturizing lotion. It is the best. It's um, Mad About You 24 Out 24 Hour Moisture Ultra Shea Body Cream from Bath and Body Works. I've mentioned this before. I've blogged about this. I also have the perfume for it from Bath and Body Works. I think it's like $12. It smells so good. Every time I put it on, people ask me what perfume I just put on because the smell is that strong. Um, and I always put lotion on my feet. Ever since I was young, I've always put lotion on my feet. Um, I was just, my older sisters just always made me put lotion on my feet. And um, now I'm just used to it. If I don't put lotion on my feet, I feel like I can't move my toes and that freaks me out. I don't know why, but. Um, so I put this on my feet. My feet are like baby feet right now. Um, it makes them really, really soft and with the cold, like dry weather, this helps so much. I put it on after the shower and it just smells amazing. If you don't have it, you need it. Two of the other managers at work have it and one of the girls bought it because it just smells so good. You need this, mad about you. Then I have this little Kate Spade pouch. This is my, I call this my techie pouch. This has all of my cables. It has my camera cable. I don't know what this, I really have no idea what this white cable is for but I'm scared to throw it out because in case I need it, I really need to find out what that cable's for. I don't know why. Um, and then in here, I don't know why I have this in here, but it's for the wine room. It's in um, Winter Park in Florida. I got this from my old store manager before I moved. Um, he got it for us for Christmas, all the girls. And it's just like a place where you go and taste test different wines. Um, and you need this little card to turn on the wine, I guess. So I have that in there for when I do go, when I go back to Orlando. Um, I always carry like my charger in here, my headphones in here. Um, just so they don't get lost and tangled in my bag. Then I have a MAC receipt from the mall that I work at. I went to go buy my MAC eyeliner or my eyebrow pencil and it's my favorite. It's called Spiked. My eyebrow hair is like black, black, black and I can never find anything that's black enough. That one is black and it's really sharp and it's thin so it makes really precise edges. Um, it was $16, the best eyeliner. Or, God, why do I keep calling it eyeliner? Eye pencil, eyebrow pencil. And then here's another lip liner. This is the one that I'm wearing today actually in, um, it's by NYX, 801 Auburn, it's burgundy. I used it to line my lips before I put on the lip gloss, matte, stick, whatever you wanna call it. Just cause since it's a gloss and it's on a spongy applicator, it will come out the lines and it just looks ugly. When that happens, then I have a Twix wrapper and a $10 off your in-store qualifying purchase next week of $30 or more for Walgreens. I shop at Walgreens all the time because I love getting drugstore crap. Um, so I'm gonna use that. And then I have a save 50 cents on your Minute Maid orange juice for Stop and Shop. So I'm just gonna have that in there. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I don't ever, it's a lie when people, well, I'm not gonna say it's a lie. When people say they put their phone in their bag, I never put my phone in my bag. My phone is always either in my hand or in my pocket. I will very rarely put it in my bag. I'll never put it in my bag. When I'm at work, it's in my pocket. When I'm at home, it's on me. And when I'm walking, it's in my pocket. So um, I never put it in my pocket, but I have the iPhone 5 still. My upgrade is just now available, thank God, because my phone is jacked. Up. I have a crack here. I have a crack there. I don't even have a home button. This phone has been through war and I could literally be sponsored by Mac or by Apple because my phone still works and it just fell in the toilet and it still works. So it's like trooped on me. But but yeah, there's my phone. Um, 
that's basically it of what's in my bag. Um, it's empty. In there, really big. Should put everything back in there now. But yeah, that's what's in my bag. I have to show these because I'm obsessed with these. I got these at a store called Garage. I had never heard of it until I moved to Florida or to New York, and now they have it in Orlando. I guess they have it in the Florida mall. But I'm obsessed with anything that's like Arabic, and that's why I have the Eye of Horus here. I have an Alex Nani charm, charm of the Eye of Horus, and these are just like these pretty delicate necklaces. One is a Hamsa, and two of them are the Evil Eyes, and I love them. I'm just very intrigued by different cultures and things like that, so those are in there. Um, and from that same store, I got this cute little slouchy sweater. It's huge, it's an extra small, but it's massive. It was on sale for 20 bucks and I need a ton of sweaters because it's freezing over here. And I also got this ring from there. It has two-tone, I wear everything two-tone because of my earrings. Um, two gold and two silver, this is from H&M, so this doesn't matter. But yeah, um, that's everything for what's in my bag. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Hey go, hey guys, bleh, bleh. Are you laughing at me? Sorry, got way cut off guard.